Hello everyone! Hello grade 9 students! It's me again, Ma'am Terebena, your guidance counselor. So welcome to our module 3 for your homeroom guidance for quarter 1. So I hope you are now ready. So we shall now start with our discussion. So please get your ball pen and paper. Okay, so for your homeroom guidance for quarter 1, module 3, the title is 3 R's. Okay, 3 R's. Okay, so same thing with your module 2. You can see there the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines and the development team of this module. So, uh, and of course, meron na naman tayong message for your parents. So, you have to read this to your parents. This is entitled, Gabay sa Magulang or Tagapag-alaga. Nagdulot ng napakaraming pagbabago sa pamumuhay ng bawat Pilipino ang pandemya ang naranasan ng buong mundo. Sa gitna nito, kaisa ng Department of Education ang inyong tahanan upang maipagpatuloy ang edukasyon ng lahat ng mag-aaral sa buong Pilipinas. Dalawa sa mga pamamaraang ito ang paghahanda ng Learning Continuity Plan at ng Most Essential Learning Competencies or MELCs. Sa taong ito, inihanda ang Homeroom Guidance MELC sa naglalayong matulungan ang mag-aaral upang maipagpatuloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng mga pagbabagong dulot ng pandemya. Naglalayong maituro ng Homeroom Guidance ang kasanayan sa buhay o life skills sa pamamagitan ng self-learning modules. Nakatoon ito sa tatlong mahalagang domain, ang academic, personal, social at career development. Binigyang focus ng uh, Homeroom Guidance Max ang mga gawaing makatutulong sa lahat ng mag-aaral na magkaroon ng rasyonal na pag-iisip or rational thinking, malusog maayos sa pagkilos, healthy behavior at positibong disposition or positive disposition na hikit na kailangan sa panahong ito. Malaki ang gampanin ng mga magulang upang mapagtagumpayan ang mga gawaing nakalatag dito. Kakailanganin na mag-aaral ang inyong patnubay at gabay. Kung kaya hinihingi ng DepEd ang inyong suporta na makatutulong upang mapagtagumpayan na mag-aaral ang mga hamon sa buhay, may isa katuparan ang mga inaasahang gawain at higit sa lahat matutunan ang mga kasanayan sa buhay na kailangan nilang taglayin sa yugtong ito. Okay, and of course for the introductory message for you learners, as part of examining your life as you go along with this journey, it is important to know your rights roles and responsibilities knowing your rights and roles will also leads to appreciation of your responsibilities and contribution in this world this module is composed of different tasks as a reflection of how you handle the demands of life this can help you understand the things that are happening around you moreover it can help you to stay effective in dealing with different challenges Work on the task seriously. Seek help if you believe you need to. Remember, in life, there are things that you cannot control. There will be negative events that will challenge your positive dispositions. However, do not be disheartened. You have the means on how to overcome it. Embark on this journey of overcoming your weaknesses and optimizing your strengths to attain your better version. version. This self-learning module has six interactive tasks which are as follows. We have the last try this. Let's explore this. Keep in mind you can do it. What I have learned, share your thoughts and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you are asked to do. Have fun, stay safe, and healthy. Again, the title of this module is the three R's. And what are the learning objectives? At the end of this module, you are expected to, number one, Explain the child's rights and the roles and responsibilities as a member of the family and community. Number two, demonstrate accountabilities and responsibilities in the practice of child's rights. And number three, appreciate the relationship between child's rights and responsibilities. So this is good for week three of your first quarter and the suggested total time allotment is 60 minutes and you will be needing clean sheets of paper or bond paper and coloring material if available. Now for an introduction, you have here, this module will try to make you aware of your importance as a member of your family and the community. Likewise, this will redirect you to your functional knowledge on child's rights, roles, and responsibilities that can help to become a better 
contributing individual especially in this time of pandemic. Kaya napaka ganda na magig- magiging discussion natin para sa module na ito dahil malalaman ninyo kung ano ba ang inyong mga kap- karapatan bilang isang bata at ano ba ang uh, mga roles and responsibilities na, ka- na kailangan mong gawin para mas para ikaw ay maging mabuting mamamayan lalong lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Being part of the community, you have to know your roles and rights so that you can perform your responsibilities well. Every right that you enjoy is coupled with a responsibility that you need to face. Okay, kinakailangan na alam ninyo ang inyong mga obligasyon, ang inyong mga roles, at ang inyong ang mga karapatan, and of course, yung inyong mga responsibilidad din. Okay, kinakailangan na alam natin ang ating mga responsibilidad para alam natin kung ano din ang mga gagawin. So, get to appreciate how to be more productive member to your family and to the community at the end of the module. So, under let's review this suggested time allotment is one minute. So, tingnan natin kung ano ba yung ating naging talakayan sa ating module 2. Ano ba yung ating mga pinag-usapan sa module 2? So, module 2 will help you identify the different challenges on your home and school activities. So, naalala nyo pa ba na pinag-usapan natin ang module 2? Ano nga ulit ang title ng module 2? We have the CCC, Conquering the Clouds of Challenges. So, pinag-aralan natin doon kung ano-ano ang iba't ibang challenges na maharing kaharapin natin sa ating bahay at sa ating paaralan. At ano ba ang mga pamamaraan para ma-manage natin ito positively. So the module also led you to compare the pros and cons of the different study habits you have employed. Furthermore, it gave you the opportunity to share your insights on performing your daily task in life. Okay, so yun ang naging discussion natin sa ating module 2. And under let's try this for 5 minutes, the title is Roles or Responsibilities. What are we going to do? We have number one, copy the images below on a clean whole sheet of bond short paper. Short bond paper. Ayan. So, kung makikita ninyo may dalawang bulaklak na may tiglimang petals. So, yung unang bulaklak may nakalagay na roll sa gitna. At uh, yung pangalawa naman ay may nakalagay na responsibilities. So, kukopyahin natin ito. Magdodrawing din tayo ng bulaklak. And number two, Pick up the words in the box and categorize whether they are roles or responsibilities. Ayan, may makikita kayo mga words sa ibaba ng mga bulaklak. Ayan, may uh, iba't ibang words. Ano ba yung mga words na to? Child, grandchild, proper and frequent hand washing, sibling, parents, take care of siblings, study well, sanitize objects or items, observe physical, physical distancing, wear a mask, and student. Ayan. So, titingnan natin kung alin ba dyan ang mga roles and responsibilities. And of course, you're going to place the words on the petals of the right flower. Okay. Answer the processing questions that follow. Okay. Lahat ng ito ay isusulat natin sa tamang petals, sa tamang bulaklak. Okay. So, ayan. So, what are the processing questions? We have number one. What roles and responsibilities in the choices are the most relevant to you? Ano ba yung pinaka-importante or pinaka-mahalaga na responsibility para sa sa'yo? At bakit? Number two, how do you describe the way you perform your roles and responsibilities? Paano mo ba ilalarawan ang iyong mga pamamaraan mo sa pag-perform ng iyong mga roles and responsibilities at magbigay ka ng current experience where these things are evident. Okay, magbibigay tayo ng isang example, okay, or na, na isa mong experience kung saan na ipakita mo or na perform mo ang iyong roles and responsibilities. So, under Let's Explore This Suggested Time Allotment is 10 minutes. The title is Responsibly Rights. So, below are the four main baskets of children's rights and the different examples of the several child's rights. So, for each of the, of the four main baskets, categorize and identify among the given examples of child's rights. Chi- cite examples to each right that you have experienced. Write this on a clean sheet of bond paper, then answer the processing questions that follow. So, ayan, makikita ninyo ang mga larawan na yan. Iyan daw po ang uh, four main baskets of children's rights. Okay? At uh, may mga nakalagay dyan na iba't ibang examples ng child's rights. So, 
kada basket, okay? Na natin i-categorize at identify ang uh, iba't ang mga examples of uh, child's rights, okay? Isusulat natin ito sa malinis na papel. Okay, alin ba dito? So, may nakalagay dito ang mga different child's rights at ilalagay natin na identify natin kung ito ba ay right to participation, right to protection, right to survival, or right to development. So, ito ang mga rights of a child. Right to be born well, right to live a full life, right to legally registered name and nationality, right to express their views and opinions, right to think and believe what they want to practice or their religion, right to get and share information as long as the information is not damaging to them or others, right to relax, play, and to join a wide range of leisure activities, right to special care and support for children with any kind of disability so that they can live a full and independent life, right to good quality health care, clean water, nutritious food, and clean environment, right to education, and right to protection from any harm. Okay, so we're able to categorize and, and identify the different uh, child's rights. So, sa kada karapatan, kailangan daw natin gumawa ng, uh, or kailangan natin magbigay ng sample. Okay, na example na sa tingin ninyo ay uh, na-experience ninyo sa rights na yun. Okay? And for the processing questions, we have number one, are the child's right that you think you enjoy most? Alin dyan yung right na nai-enjoy mo? Okay. Number two, what are the other child's rights that you hope to experience more and how? Alin naman dyan yung gusto mo na mas ma-experience mo pa at mas makamtan mo? Okay? And we have here, keep in mind, suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. Sabi dito, okay, Though you already had taken up child's rights in your previous grade levels and lessons, let's try to revisit the rights of a Filipino child, which is under the Presidential Decree Number 603 or the Child and Youth Welfare Code. It states that the child is one of the most important assets of the nation. Likewise, the UNICEF Convention of the Rights of the Children has also identified the following child's rights. So, ano, ano ba ang inyong mga karapatan? Okay, still, kayo ay mga bata dahil kayo ay below 18 years old. Okay, number one, every child has a right to life, survival, and development. Number two, every child has a right to name and nationality. Every child has the right to keeping families together. Number four, every child has the right to be educated. Number five, every child has the right to play and enjoy whenever they have the opportunity. Number six, every child has the right to protect to be protected from abuse of adults. Number seven, every child has the right to live peacefully away from bad influences. Number eight, every child has the right to be cared whenever their parents are not available or cannot sustain their needs. Number nine, every child has the right to express their views and opinions and to their privacy. And number ten, every child has the right to grow up peacefully and getting what they want for the good of their lives. So, ayan ang mga karapatan ninyo. Alam ko na napag-aralan nyo na yan sa inyong mga asignatura, sa inyong kayo ay uh, elementary and even ngayong high school na. All child rights are human rights, which were specially created for children's protection and for them to become better individuals. So, according to UNICEF, Committee on the Rights of the Child, there are four main areas, or ito yung tinatawag nating baskets, or groups of children's rights. So these are the rights to protection from the discrimination, abuse, neglect, exploitation, torture, and the rights to survival, comprising the elements of life, nutrition, water, health, and air, and the right to participation, ito yung expression of views, decision making, access to information, freedom of association, association, and last but not the least is the right to development, which includes education, standard of living, adequate of the child's physical, mental, spiritual, moral, and social development. Again, ang apat na rights ninyo is number one, right to protection, number two, right to survival, number three, right to participation, and number four, right to development. So, ito ang apat na grupo ng inyong mga rights. 
So aside from their rights, children also have roles such as being a son or daughter, sibling, grandchild, student, and a person among others. So the roles of children nowadays are also no longer based on sex since we are now embracing gender equity, okay? Wherein a girl can do the task previously intended for a boy and vice versa. Both sexes can do home repairs, laundry, cooking, sewing, and many more. Again, sinasabi rito na bukod sa ating mga karapatan, meron din daw tayong mga tungkulin or gampanin or mga roles na kailangan gawin bilang isang anak, bilang isang kapatid, bilang isang apo, bilang isang estudyante, at bilang isang tao. Okay, so ang ating mga roles ay hindi na daw um, nakabase kung ano ang iyong kasarian dahil uh, at tayo ay naniniwala na sa tinatawag na gender equity. Okay, wherein ang uh, lalaki o ang babae ay maaari ng gumawa ng mga task na intended sa opposite sa opposite sex, okay? So both sexes can do home repairs kahit babae ngayon, pwede nang gumawa ng mga gawain panlalaki at ang mga lalaki naman ay gumagawa na ng mga gawain pambabae. So children have rights and roles. However, there are also responsibilities that go along with them. So remember, kung tayo ay may karapatan at tayo ay may mga roles, meron din tayong mga responsibilities kakambal na mga roles na ito at na mga kakambalits na ito. So the following are the identified responsibilities of a child. So ano ba ang mga responsibilidad ninyo bilang isang bata? Bilang isang bata, you have to, number one, strive to lead an upright and virtuous life in according to one's religion, the teaching of his elders and mentors, and his clean conscience. Number two, love, respect, and obey his parents and cooperate with them in the strengthening of the family. This includes following the health and safety protocols in this time of pandemic, such as observing physical distancing, frequent hand washing, wearing of face masks and face shields, sanitize objects and items, and consult medical attention when there are symptoms. So, isa yun sa mga obligasyon natin, ang uh, mahalin, irespeto, at uh, sundin ang ating mga magulang at mag-cooperate sa kanila. Lalong-lalo na sa panahon ngayon na kailangan natin ipatupad ang mga health protocols para na din maiwasan natin ang COVID-19. And number three, extend to his brothers and sisters his love, thoughtfulness, and helpfulness and endeavor with them to keep the family harmonious and united. Okay? Number four, exert his utmost to develop his potentialities for service, particularly by undergoing a formal education suited to his abilities in order that he may become an asset to himself and the society. So, this includes studying well for your future. So, in short, isa sa mga obligasyon ninyo ang mag-aral ng mabuti nang sa gayon ay kayo din ay makatulong sa ating society at hindi lamang sa inyong pamilya, hindi lamang sa inyong sarili, pati na sa ating lipunan. And number five, respect not only his elders but also the customs and traditions of people, the memory of heroes and authorities, the laws of our country and the principles and institution of democracy. Okay, so kailangan nating irespeto ang mga nakakatanda, ang mga paniniwala, ang mga tradisyon. Okay, at lahat ng mga memory, ang ating mga bayani, okay, at ng ating mga otoridad. At kailangan nating sundin ang batas ng ating bansa. And number six, Participate actively in civic affairs in the promotion of the general welfare. And number seven, help in the observance of individual human rights. So, your three R's will make you appreciate yourself better. Kailangan daw nating alamin kung ano ang ating rights. And we have to perform our roles as well. And at the same time, act on your responsibilities. So, therefore, ang tatlong R na tinutukoy sa title ng module na to ay Rights. Roles and responsibilities. So again, you have to know your basic rights. Alamin kung ano ang iyong mga karapatan bilang isang bata. Alamin din kung ano or gawin ang iyong mga roles as well. 
and gampan uh, and uh, gawin ang iyong mga responsibilities okay so those are the three r's the rights roles and responsibilities now your three r's will make you a vital part of your of the community and under you can do it so the title is my rights and responsibilities action plan okay gagawa tayo ng action plan dito so for 10 minutes anong nakikita ninyo sa larawan so now to assess if you really understand the, your rights you are going to make an action plan on how we are going to exercise these rights as a child which will help you to be to become a responsible uh, to become responsible for yourself, your home, and the community. So, copy the activities, activity on a clean sheet of paper or one short bond paper and fill out the blank spaces. So, an example has been given. So, ito ang ating action plan. So, makikita ninyo, meron dyan apat na column. We have the child's rights, self, home, and community. So, ano ba ang inyong mga karapatan? Ilalagay natin dyan yung iba't iba ninyong karapatan. So, example is we have here, right to be educated. So, ano ba ang mga gagawin mo para sa iyong sarili? So, nakalagay dito, apply effective study habits para sa karapatan mo na right to be educated. At ano ang gagawin mo sa bahay? Okay, assist siblings or any family member in their academic endeavors. Okay, paaring tutulungan mo din ang mga kapatid mo sa pag-aaral. And sa community, you are going to share knowledge on healthy protocols um, or health protocols during this COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So, ayan. Ito yung ating table. Okay, again, ito ang ating magiging output uh, para sa sa activity sa part na to sa you can do it and uh, under what i have learned suggested some allotment is 10 minutes on a clean sheet of bond paper answer the following question so ito yung mga tanong number one what is the role that you are still trying to fulfill as of the moment ano ba yung mga gampan yung mga roles na hanggang ngayon ay uh, pinufulfill mo pa okay or ginagawa mo pa sa mga moment na ito and number two, what suggestions or tips would you give to yourself to do it? Okay? Ano ba yung mga ibibigay mong payo para sa yung sarili nang sa gayon ay magawa mo ito? And number three, how do you promote child's rights in school, at home, and community give at least five ways? O paano mo ba na ipopromote ang iyong mga karapatan bilang bata sa bahay, sa paaralan, at sa yung community? Okay? Magbigay ng at least lima or more than na limang pamamaraan. Okay, under share our thoughts and feelings, suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. So, ang gagawin natin ay pipili ka ng isang song or poem about taking responsibilities or fulfilling role. Okay, hanap ka ng mga paborito mong kanta na kung saan ang, uh, ang uh, minsahin nito ay tungkol sa mga responsibilities mo at pag-fulfill mo sa yung mga roles. So, you're going to write on a piece of paper the parts that you want to reflect on and share how the song poem resonates with your current status as a child okay so ayan we are done with our module three my dear grade nine students so congratulations for finishing this module so napakaganda ng naging discussion natin dahil dito nalaman natin ng ating mga karapatan ang ating mga roles and ating mga rights so again the three r's are referring to your rights to your responsibilities and to your roles. Napakahalaga na bilang isang bata, alam mo ang iyong mga karapatan, alam mo kung ano ang mga roles mo at alam mo din kung ano ang iyong mga responsibilidad. Nang sa gayon ay ikaw ay makatulong din hindi lamang sa iyong pamilya kundi pati na rin sa ating lipunan. So ayan, napakaganda na ma-realize na ang dami pala ng mga maaari mong i-avail na rights. But at the same time, along with these rights, we have our roles, we have our responsibilities to make. Okay? So that's all for now, my dear grade 9 students. Again, thank you so much for always watching my videos. So I will be uploading all your videos. And do not worry kung medyo nadidelay tayo. So it's because of uh, mga calamities. So here in our place, we had these three 
consecutive typhoons. We had this Kinta, Rolly, and Ulysses. Kaya talagang nawalan tayo ng power supply and we were not able to um, upload the uh, our our videos dahil na rin wala tayong internet connection but still um kailangan nating mag-catch up ano kailangan nating humabol sa ating mga lessons ng nang sa gayon ay matapos natin ito on time but again i hope may natutunan kayo sa naging discussion natin para sa araw na ito kung meron kayong mga comments and suggestions please uh, feel free to write it down below on the comment box and, and do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload kong video. So, again, this is Mantere Bene, your guidance counselor saying bye for now. Ingat tayo lagi, take care, and see you on all the videos.